Hey, we're posting two videos today. Ooh. Yo <laughs> You're supposed to say yayo. Yeah, this wasn't planned. He's making it up. No, there is a script right here. Yeah, I didn't know that Oriental Trading was on the script. Oh, great. We can't make this video now. Because uh, YouTube's going to make it go bye-bye because you said the name of a corporation. Ooh, ow. Don't punch my arm. <laughs> but it's so... Okay, anyway. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to be complaining about something else. We posted a video a couple months ago saying, and it was titled, I believe, um, She's Your Girlfriend, she's your girlfriend not, not Your Wife. And, uh, well, we're, this is a sequel to that video. Right? Yeah. And, um, um, I'll start with my personal experiences and I'll go over to Ted. We've accumulated some new, um, information. And, uh, this is what we've come up with. This is classified information. Nobody. You should tell nobody. That's why it's on YouTube! Yay! Hooray for logic! Anyway. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm not gonna go there. That's another video. Oh, wait, another video. Okay, anyway. So, uh, for me, okay, so that other one was about how this, how, um, you know, we were pretty convinced that this guy, one of our friends, was whipped because, um, uh, yeah, you know, it's whoosh, not whoosh. anyway, um, we, this, our, our friend was whipped because his girlfriend, he would do whatever his girlfriend would do, basically. But now we understand more, and uh, this is the information we've accumulated again since that. So what happened? All right. So from my personal experience, is what I've noticed. Um, he's uh. I learned now that really his, it, it's um. What should I begin with? I want to start with the conclusion. That wouldn't make sense. Um, I love how we blow off the first two minutes. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, um, let's see. Well, I guess, um, I'll, I'll start with the, um, okay, there's so much, okay, I'll, I know what to start off with. Um, uh, let's start with the public displays of affection. <sighs> okay, so, um, they don't really see each other a lot during the day. Like, like over the course of the entire day, they don't see each other much until, unless it's the beginning or the end of the day. And since they are both in, like, the drama club, they both see each other all the time. And, um, you know, so, well, they, they see each other for a long time, and they all, they're, when she's around, he's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta be with all this person, because, um, as if it's gonna be the last time in the, in his life, or whatever, for some weird reason, he's just got to all the time, and, uh, they're, it's very strange to see them, because, um, like, for example, the other day, I believe it was Monday of, here, I'll give the date, it was n Monday, November 14th, when I walked around the corner, opened the door, and there's him and his girlfriend making out! I mean, like, Where? this, make, um, they, they, this was like, sucking face. Okay, it was disgusting. When was that? Monday. Like, the beginning of the day? And then the day. I don't know anything about this. I didn't... So anyway, yeah. And, um... It was... It's just very disgusting. And 
it, it he's it's like a cat taming a bulldog okay this guy is <laughs> pretty big and his girlfriend is like two feet shorter than him and she all she has to do is give him a look or pout and he's like oh, oh, and just bends it's like watching a bulldog kneel down and worship a kitten or a chipmunk or a chipmunk because he, he does that too and that's the other thing I want to get to is Ben with his girlfriend is, is starting to make him uh, do things that make him sound so morally correct that it makes him look like he's doing things out of pure self-righteousness just to make himself feel good even though he's making up lies and all that stuff um he, he over exaggerates things and throws people under the bus to make them look bad while he feels all self-righteous high and mighty because his girlfriend told him to that's the only reason why he does it, or else she'll just pout in the corner and say, No, I'm not going to talk to you. And he's like, oh, blah, blah. I mean, she's always mad every second of the day because she wants to control everybody and everything. She tries to control us, but really, sorry, but the whip won't work on us, only him, because he's the only person who is ludicrous enough to even obey you with unquestionable doubt. I, I, I mean, I'm sorry, no. He... It doesn't question anything, and it's always undoubtedly correct what you're telling him to do. That's what it feels like, and it's like watching a cat make a giant, like a rhinoceros, bow down to it. And that rhinoceros will charge anything for that kitten, just so that kitten can be satisfied for its entertainment. That's what it seems like to me. Now I've hogged up seven minutes, I'm going to give it to Ted before I blow up so remember this is um classified information weird eyebrow thing now for a guy with real cool look <laughs> ah, okay anyway so uh yeah beyond what he said i've also had some stupid experiences involving this that i really shouldn't have had like last Wednesday, I think. Donald's? <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Stupid. Um. Uh, so last Wednesday, no, last Tuesday is when the whole thing really started. So, you know, uh, my friend, he, he, you know, he's also, he, he's in Mr. Mr. Monster Guy's box. Uh, he was, uh, he and I were talking in drama club, because uh, I do nothing there, because I'm supposed to be doing microphones, but so on, or so I can't really do anything. Anyway, so, um, uh, well, it's not really unorganized, it's just, like, the thing hasn't really come together yet, so, yeah, disregard that. Anyway, so, we're sitting there, and, well, we started throwing erasers at one of our friends and his girlfriend, and... This is a different guy. Yeah. And, yeah, they were, she was, like, licking his face or something. It was, like, disgusting. We started chucking erasers at him, and then they were pretending to ignore it. But, you know, we got him ticked off. But then, then the next day, um, oh, right, right, yeah, sorry. Let me go back to that day. Um, then we ran out of erasers, because you don't have an endless supply of erasers. So, uh, we started, uh, one of my other friends, he had rubber bands, so we started shooting those little things that you fold up and you shoot them with a rubber band at him. My friend was going to shoot it at him, but when Pooja saw him, he put his hand up self-righteously, he was like, oh man, he's putting a Bible in the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway. All right. Anyway, so the next day. That one friend that we were shooting stuff with, um, yeah, yeah, his girlfriend broke up with him, so, so instead, wait, did I say his name? <laughs> you said it in a very inaudible 
<laughs> okay. So anyway, our friend that we're talking about in this video, the one that my brother was talking about before, you know, who held up his hand, he, he's with his girlfriend. So we're like, I tell my friend, hey, let's hide there, but this time not be seen and Chucky e. racers at them every time they're going to make out. Because that's even funnier. So we did. <laughs> and it was fun. And, uh, well, the first time we got away with it, even though we blatantly made ourselves spotable, but my excuse was, well, oh, I was back there because uh, I was about to walk to the bathroom because I had to use the bathroom. But anyway, then we went on our second eraser bombardment of them. And... <laughs> yeah, you know, because you can't even see them, like... Anyway, go ahead. Right All right, time. yeah. So anyway, so we're throwing erasers, right? My friend, he throws them and he ducks down. And he starts laughing hysterically. Oh. And I was like, I was thinking, man, what's up? I didn't want to talk because I didn't want to risk being heard. But like six different groups of people had already passed by and seen us ducking behind these chairs, and they're like, we know they're up to no good. Then one of my friends. The one that had been so, yeah, yeah, the one who had broken up with, he spots us and he snitches. And Logan calls him a five letter word that starts with Q. And, um. He said a name. Keep oh. Going. Well, yeah. Sorry, I, I name people. Anyway, so. So he, uh. Out of self righteousness. Yeah, tells him. And, well, my friend. Throw us an eraser again. Except this time we see one, I see one at least, fly back. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I'm like, oh crap, we're caught. <laughs> and well, that day, um, our buddy with his girlfriend, who still had one, uh, left early for some reason. And I was out in the lobby laughing about how mad he got at us and he gave us the bird, I think. Yeah, that or he said some nasty words to us as he passed by. I couldn't really tell. He, he was too, too mad. So, um, pretty much what happened was, outside, I'm talking, and his girlfriend walks up to me, and she says, You have to stop, or else he is going to rip your face off personally. I was like, well, if he got so mad about it, then why didn't he just tell us to stop in the first place? He told Blank to tell him stop. No, no. What she said was, <laughs> he told me the first time that they better stop or else I'm going to freak out. And, of course, you know, we would hear that because we're, like, mentally connected to them. Oh, and also I want to mention that uh, he's also ignoring me so he talked with uh, his girlfriend's friends and her because he knows that definitely teenage girls have something to say that's of more value than an intelligent mind like me. Anyway, here we go. 30 seconds on the clock. Oh yeah, oh, w the conclusion to this is basically this guy is like a rhino and he will do, he'll bend over backwards just so his girlfriend is, uh, amused. Even he just amused. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll leave a comment Tell me what you think about it. Because I really want to know. Did, did they have the right to throw erasers at them while they're making out? I don't know. You tell me.